real quick raise of hands. Raise your hand if you didn't live in San Francisco a year ago or if you don't live in San Francisco right now. Raise your hand. Sweet. Okay. So I was in New York last weekend. That's, wh that's where I met Peter. And, uh, and, I, and I asked everyone at this conference, they were all interested in AI, I asked them, raise your hand if you want to invest in AI. And then I asked them to keep their hand up if they've been to San Francisco in the last six months, and everyone's hand went down. And I told them, y'all don't even know. Because the, the type of stuff that's happening in the neighborhood, and I'll talk about that, is insane. I've never seen anything like this. I lived in San Francisco for about four years before. I lived in New York. I've, I've been all over. And what's happening right now in San Francisco is crazy. Like a year ago, I was living in New York. We were going to launch HF0 in New York, all this stuff. We came and visited uh, San Francisco for just one week, and we were just like, holy shit, we have to get back here right now. Um, and the type of thing that's happening in the neighborhood. So there's this little neighborhood. You probably heard you know, different people talking about it. Cerebral Valley, we got a keel right here. Um, people talking about you know, stuff going around in Alamo Square. It's kind of crazy. There's this one guy, Jason Ben, who did a bunch of surveying around San Francisco. And he was like, you know, before I, I leave San Francisco, before I give up on the city, let me survey a bunch of people in the city and figure out, is there a neighborhood where people actually like really love living in this city? And he found two. And he ended up choosing one. It's the area around Alamo Square. And he convinced a bunch of his friends to like all kind of give, another, give San Francisco another chance and like move around the neighborhood. And his friends happen to be a bunch of AI folks. And this neighborhood, like, let me tell you all, it is popping right now. Like, it's, it's crazy. There'll be, like, a research paper that comes out on, like, Friday morning at Stanford. By, like, Friday night at dinner, the researcher is, like, at our house for dinner. And we have, like, a bunch of friends, a bunch of different AI founders at the house, all asking them questions, all talking about this new paper. By Sunday, it's implemented in, like, a third of their startups. And it's, like, in production and everything, ready to go to their customers on Monday. Like, that's the type of stuff that we're seeing in the neighborhood in, in San Francisco. And I've organized a lot of hackathons, probably more than, than just about anyone except Major League Hacking and stuff, and I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's really, really crazy. Um, so if you're visiting San Francisco, make sure to come check out the neighborhood, and you can ask around, and people will point you in the right direction and stuff. Um, it's nothing big yet. It's like really small. It's way smaller than than the scene was in San Francisco when I first lived here in 2014. Um, but it is this like bright, shining like, like star of radiance um, where, where people are kind of just constantly discussing ideas and stuff. One thing that Peter wanted me to mention is like, okay, so are all these folks you know, moving back to San Francisco, this convergence in this neighborhood, what, what's it about? What's driving them? Do they just want to make a bunch of money? Is it like a gold rush? What's going on? No. These folks are talking about like how we align AI. They're talking about safety. They're talking about their values. They're talking about the culture. They're talking about the impact that they want to have. And it's this really cool intersection that I've never seen before from hackers of hackers who actually care about research versus just like building the next shiny thing. They, they care about research. They care about discussing the papers. They care about the direction things are heading and who care about morality and impact. And so there's some really, really deep conversations that have been going on in the neighborhood, and there's some really deep conversations that have been going on in HF0. HF0, um, for, for many of you all, will probably be your first time hearing about it. It's essentially a monastery for hackers, um, and it's, it's like a 12-week retreat. If any of you, raise your hand if you've been on a meditation retreat. So a surprising number of folks have been on meditation retreats in this room. So at a meditation retreat, Everything in your life is kind of like stripped away so you can just sit and meditate and you can focus on usually your object of meditation is your breath. At HF0, we take a lot of the things from a meditation retreat, but instead of the object of meditation being your breath, it's code. And we think that the world, especially with these LLMs and stuff, is becoming increasingly, increasingly distracting and that it is more important than ever to find a distraction-free environment where you can actually build. So that's what we're building at HF0. And if any of y'all are like really interested, um, we have like small, we don't really have events at the house because everyone's in the zone. It's kind of like a monastery. But if you're interested, come find me after this. You can see me with the pink beanie and, uh, and I can let you know about some of the stuff that we have going on. Thank you so much, Peter.